I feel like it shouldn't be so sequestered into like, oh, you like to like have something that's entertaining and creative, so you take these classes and let the real people do their work with like these really dry technical papers. I feel like all writing should be creative writing just because that's so much more entertaining and especially with these videos, if you have like a 20 minute video that's so slow and it drags, like people are going to lose interest and it's just like in a paper where you're not hitting the point, you're like not saying anything of substance, like I feel like everything should have to have that creative element just because it's almost like a cop out to not and it's also so much more fun to be creative about it. I feel like part of the English literature department and major and everything that goes into it should bolster creativity because it's all based on the creativity of another person. It almost seems rude to say that like students of literature, however, can't be creative in what they do. That's not fair. Oh, well, it's definitely more creative. It's more of like a piece of artwork than anything. Um, I mean, you have to think on a lot of different levels. Like, well, one, you're thinking about the content, the type of message you're presenting, and if you were writing it down, that would kind of be like where you stop. It was I also mean. really neat to see like the way that you can overlap music and video. It's so much easier than trying to go and like, okay, I have to play this at 15 seconds, but then I need to go and play this if you were doing like some kind of thing where you didn't have that. It would be incredibly complex. You would have to like in a video, you can explore many different layers of artistry, where you got images and you gotta think of, um, what's the word? But at the same time, I definitely think you're bringing something new to whatever work you're analyzing by translating it to the screen. Um, and that's not, I mean, it's something I think that's kind of new, that hasn't really been done quite so broadly. I mean, people have been writing papers for however long. And um, I mean, I think there's a lot of value to interpreting something in a new way and translating it sort of into in a different way. Um, and yes, maybe you do lose some of that depth, but I think you also shed light on a piece in entirely different ways that you wouldn't be able to sound. Oh, composition composition um, the composition of sound like how it comes in and out and it's got to be it's got to be pleasing and you've also got to like string somebody along with their with multiple senses other than just laying it out in these words and in a video you can also have words like you can have that and then you can have moving images you can have still images and you got to think of the composition of what happens on the screen how you place the things where you bring them in and out it's kind of and then you, you it's you're also playing with the element of time you know you only get someone for a set amount of time when you people put so much weight on english majors being able to write really great analysis papers and I mean, I definitely think that while that's a skill we all need to have, it's also really important to be able to work in different modes. Um, I think that the video format allowed me to isolate these specific instances of when he's, you know, like staring at his mom in a certain way or looking at his uncle in a certain way. And, uh, and yeah, just isolate those and present them as the argument because, because there's visual there's visual uh, proof to show it in the movie and all you have to do is extract that and, and make an argument out of it. I feel like it, with mine, a lot of times I felt like an editor, like a video editor. And that's because a lot of mine I concentrated on film and television just because that's something I'm really into. And so that's where I started a lot of my projects was like, what basis material can I use um, along with the text that we're studying. Um, and so I spent a lot of time trying to really make things look clean um, and make things look like aesthetically pleasing because I feel like that for me I'm a visual learner and I really like how things look and I feel like that gets the message across especially with videos that if things look clean and well um, and that helps that helps your your presentation and your argument just as much as I mean you can like see where your layers are going to be at and everything which I think is really helpful you can see like wow I have suddenly like ten channels with stuff stacked on them whereas I normally had like three and you can see where you're overdoing it or maybe where you want to put more just to kind of keep an even flow in the piece and stuff like that. Yeah. 
My goal was to create sort of the confusion and the speed of the jokes in, in Catch-22. You know, a lot of the jokes deal with words and names and, and how words get mixed up and thoughts, you know, revolve around each other. And so I was trying to pick up the speed with the words and kind of mix the way the words were presented because that's the whole idea is that, you know, the human language and the way we think about things doesn't really make any sense is what Catch-22 is kind of portraying. So I was trying to, you know, when you read the novel, you read those words in a straight line and see so if you have to think about it. And I was trying to capture that confusion and that humor in the presentations of the words. Um, so that's what I tried to do, and it didn't come out exactly th technically the first time. It's and it just goes to show that, like, spatially that wanted it to, like words really are only words, and they're just like a figment of our imagination. They're just like these pictures, and we attach sounds and images to them. And once you start putting sounds and images really behind them, then you kind of notice that they don't have that naturally. And it's like just, you know. I'm still trying to rework how I can, like, take the same material and make it into something powerful that's not as long and like, I don't know, just kind of like bulky and something that didn't really like flow well I felt like and I, I tried to do kind of like this whole meta thing where I did like Camtasia videos and then I converted them to YouTube videos and then I filmed those videos and then I put them back into a new Camtasia video but and like tried to put it all together and kind of make this like... I don't know, journey type progression, but it didn't really come through the way I was hoping it would, which I think was one of the challenges in our class, but also something that I really appreciated because... I think that the opacities and the stacking of the videos and the sound actually actually did do that because you you have to think about, you know, um, what's gonna, when, when is it gonna fade out and what's gonna fade in and what's, what's on top you know in terms of the visuals and and what you just just the you definitely have to be careful about not putting too much on there but also making it interesting so i guess the the composing process was you know it, it was challenging to 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 find that middle ground between having a really sparse video that you know drags on and then have being totally inundated with multiple with too much media you know because there's definitely a line you got to walk between those but at the same time you have like a performance element in there it's not just like you're sitting on the computer typing out dry text into an essay like it's nothing like that you can use so many different like websites or tie it in in different ways like words are kind of completely in your control not just in producing them but like how you display the word itself which is so interesting it has like a whole nother meta level onto what words can do. But I felt like I think my, my Hamlet video um, and even perhaps my Catch-22 one was more of a remix of like thought, especially the Hamlet because I was kind of taking um, other stories of you know male protagonists who kind of had this angst and lost um, lost themselves and I was remixing that sort of with the idea of Hamlet. Um, but It was so great to have something that was kind of new because I have a friend who's a computer science major that's absolutely in love with Watchmen. Like, I remember the first time we met it was because he had dressed up as Rorschach for Halloween and I was just like, oh cool, you like Watchmen? And he was like, yeah, and I was like, okay, cool. Um, but I like, the second that we started like working on that and I had like a draft for my essay or for like my, you know, video, uh, I just like messaged him on Facebook and I was like, hey, I'm doing this thing, like an analysis of Watchmen, and he's like, I'm really busy right now. I don't know if I can like read that and proofread it and talk about it. And I was like, no, 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 it's like a six minute video. And he was like, yeah. I think what's important is that it still has a critical purpose. You know, we're not just making pretty things that like look cool and sound good. It's, it's still achieving something. We may not have quite as clear cut a, a thesis when working with these videos, but I think we still accomplish something really powerful, and I think it definitely sheds new light on the works of literature that we're looking at. So I think that's the really important aspect that they want us to get out of the English major that we still achieve, but it's like the means is different. But I sent them to him, and he was like, these are so cool, like, these are things that I've never thought about. And it's a really good cross-major kind of way to introduce these things, because it's so much more entertaining. And it's so much more, like, 
culturally accepted like everybody loves going to the movies like you know some people like cats better than dogs but everybody loves like a good movie um and so I feel like it's really good to have a friend that loves Watchmen but doesn't want to read a paper because he's like a comp sci major and then just show him a video and actually be able to have an academic literary discussion with him like from that it's such a great way to cross not only between like different works and like historical context and everything but just like people to people it's really interesting.